There's 104 days of summer vacation till school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem of our generation is to find a good way to spend it. Come on, tell us you sang it with us. It's a cult classic. But while Phineas and Ferb may spend their summer inventing great things, Bronny James has different plans for his summer before his senior year. Let's look at what they are. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. For starters, what has James been up to this summer? Okay, so this summer has been super packed for the son of our favorite superstar, LeBron James, mostly because he's at that point in his time where he's staring right at the face of what his future might hold. It's inches away from his grasp, and all he needs is to play his cards right for him to attain it. But has he been playing them right? Well, of course he has, and we'll show you all as we start unraveling all the things he's been up to. But we must say, there's really no rest for the wicked, because while the rest of us would like to spend a calm summer kicking it up and doing absolutely nothing, this man clearly has different plans. But hey, that's what happens when you're all set to enter your senior year of high school basketball and have your father's name to live up to. Bronny is ranked number 24 as future prospect on the ESPN 100 for the 2023 class. He's already received scholarships this summer from very notable teams like the Michigan Wolverines and the Memphis Tigers. This is a summer where he absolutely cannot slack, and perhaps that's why he's been trying to harness his basketball skills for the majority of it. That's right, folks. James Jr. has been busy training to one day make his father proud. Don't worry, Bronny, it runs in the blood. You've got this. Next, let's start from the very start of the summer. Summer started with quite the bang for our little potential prodigy. In August, James Jr., James Jr. Jr., and James Sr. collectively decided to visit the Lakers practice for a quick workout sesh. Ah, it's like a cute family bonding experience. And hey, one perk of having a superstar father is that you get the kind of privileges that regular folks don't. You know, like going to an actual court to practice. The James brothers were seen practicing their dunks and trying to better their skills. Now, we must say we're a little envious that they get to practice with one of the greatest basketball players in history. These two really won the lottery of birth, didn't they? But hey, to be fair, LeBron is not a man who believes in things just being handed to his sons. He's a man with strict principles. He wants his children to earn their spot on the team. That much was clear when he uploaded a picture of the practice session and captioned it, hashtag earned not given. Uh oh, looks like daddy's going to push his kids extra hard to make sure they're deserving of everything life has to offer them. Coming up, the king wants to play with his heirs. Nothing comes close to the love that a father has for his sons. LeBron James might be the lion of the NBA world, but his sons are merely cubs right now, and he's hoping that one day they become even greater names than he is. It's funny if you think about it, because at our core, we're all the same. The father wishes for his sons to carry his legacy, bringing pride to the family name, and inherit his business. The king is no different, and right now his biggest dream is to one day play beside his little princes. He made this very clear in an interview with Sports Illustrated. LeBron is still hoping to play for quite a few years. His body is in good shape and his heart and mind are all set on the love of his life, his passion, his sport. And hey, there's a chance his dream might materialize into reality. Bronny is all set to be qualified for the 2024 draft and Bryce for the 2026. All the old man needs to do is keep his spirits young for just a little while longer and he may as well get a chance to play with his little ones. Moving on, September in Ohio. Hey, if anyone is planning an Ohio trip this fall and want to know what the weather is like, Bronny probably has all the tea for you. Because for most of September, our rising star out here got to experience the changing temperature of the state. And again, this wasn't just a meaningless visit. He didn't do it for kicks. Everything this little one has been up to this year has been a strategic decision. His eyes are all set for the goal, or shall we say hoop, and he's already in his power stance, ready to make the final dunk. But of course, there's a lot of dribbling and tackling before you get to that point on the court. And for James Jr., September was the season for dribbling. September started off with getting the full Bucks basketball experience as the James duo decided to attend a basketball match where they saw the team literally crush Notre Dame 21-10. Our little guy here went as far as to partake in the Go Bucks chant. Ha, he really knows how to sweet talk a potential team, doesn't he? Fun fact, the Bucks have already offered him a hoops scholarship, so he's just making sure they take note of him, and we think that's pretty smart. On top of this, he even starred in a 
Vanity Fair magazine shoot with his whole family. Ah, uh, yes, just the very regular things the families of superstars get into. But this helped him become more noticed, and perhaps that was the aim. Let's look at what he was up to this spooky season. Most of us prefer to spend our October planning our Halloween fit and looking for the most sizable pumpkin we can find to adorn our front door steps with. Okay, maybe that's just us, but it's because we're suckers for festivities. And speaking of festivities, Brawny Boy here had quite a festive October, but not in the way you'd think. Turns out our rising star was born in the month of October. Jinkies, right? Wait, does that mean the man's a Libra? We all know they're famous for their work ethic, so no surprises there. But while the rest of us got a little spooky this season, James Jr. celebrated perhaps the most important day in his life and career so far. It was the day he finally transitioned from being a boy to a man. Yes, folks, that's right, he had his 18th birthday. We don't know how millionaires usually celebrate their coming of age, but he decided to host a party in West Hollywood on a fancy schmancy rooftop. And guess who the guest of honor was? Okay, that's a tough one, so we'll give you the spoiler ourselves. It was none other than the king of rap, Travis Scott. If that wasn't enough of a birthday gift, his father literally sat down to pen an emotional message for him on his Instagram. LeBron was shook that time flew by so quickly. He expressed how proud he was of his son, who was finally becoming a man. Coming up, there was more to October than just this. Hey man, if you're on the grind, you're on the grind. We mentioned that there's no rest for those with big dreams, and so post-birthday celebrations, this little guy and his big dreams continued to take flight. Later that month, the man somehow managed to sign a deal with the company Beats by Dre, <coughs> nepotism. But hey, a little bit of fatherly support here and there is perfectly justified, we'd argue. Wouldn't we want to help out our kids? But LeBron did more than just help him a little. He even took out the time to star in a sports commercial with his son. It featured the two of them doing what they do best, playing basketball that is. Lastly, no nonsense November. This month was crucial because this month, our rising NBA star quite literally pushed his boundaries to explore how far he could go in terms of experimentation with different fields, most predominantly that of acting. It was important because it not only helped him become more seen, but allowed him to make important industry contacts. And nothing is more important for a rising star than having the right phone numbers in your phone. So November started off with the father-son duo star in yet another sports commercial, this time with Nike. Yikes, the boy already has it with the big brands, doesn't he? Then later that month, the duo did another commercial for an upcoming video game, God of War Ragnarok. This time, they had other A-listers with them, including Ben Stiller and his kids. Hey, there's even a really cool picture of the father-son on Instagram. They're quite literally in costume promoting the upcoming game. So far, it's been clear that the summer was very happening for Bronny. Looks like he's been working very hard. We can only hope that his efforts bear fruit. And on that note, it's a wrap for today. What do you guys think the future holds for Brawny? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.